Hi, tonight I just wanted to do a very short video on the three different types of rail high pressure relief valves. And uh, some of them you'll find on the heavy duty engine, the ISX, and others you'll find on the mid range engines. And so I've got uh, just one uh, photo I'm going to put up with three parts to it, and then I'll talk a little bit about each one of the uh, regulators or I should say reliefs, and that'll be it. So uh, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe and tell your friends about the channel if it will help them. So the high pressure rail, rail relief is kind of like that uh, unknown problem child that when, we, when the engine doesn't want to start or you have fuel pressure faults, we kind of always suspect that that might be the problem. And uh, it's there for a purpose so that you don't have a uh, catastrophic failure in the fuel system. And I did have, and there's a video on here on my channel of it, I had a QSX-15 and that has the rail relief that's in the top left corner, which is numeral one. And that's stuck shut. And uh, the fuel actuator circuit went open and the uh, injection pump made so much pressure that the pump head actually cracked. Actually cracked two pump heads because they replaced the first one and then when the second one cracked they called me and asked me why. So in that, uh, it's, a, it's painted red in this picture. Inside of there is a very heavy spring and then there's two cups. One rides right inside the other and the cup rides against a flat seat on the end of the threaded insert and there's a very small like 1 16th hole drilled in there and they kind of open in two stages slowly so that's how that one works number two and that's found on the ISX on pretty much all of them or QSX number two in the bottom that is what's found on a mid-range engine and the part that you see with the banjo line is part of the rail and in the end of the rail there's a looks like a, a nut screwed in or a bolt head screwed all the way in and you can unscrew that and that is the pressure relief valve. Now on some rails you can replace that on other rails it is built right into this portion of the rail and you cannot replace it if there's a, a failure with the pressure relief. You have to replace the entire fuel rail. Now number three on the right is the last type of rail pressure relief valve. And as you see, there's an electrical plug in it. And the ECM can actually throttle this open to dump fuel. And uh, my experience with these is if you have a severe over overpressure, that's damaged and it has to be replaced. And I saw this on two different engines. And I don't understand why some of the bees will have this relief valve and pictured in number three, and some of the bee engines have the relief in number two. Uh, but generally speaking, the engines, the mid-series engines that uh, make higher rail pressures will have the relief that's on the right, the number three with the electrical leads on it. And uh, I haven't... Uh, run across anybody that can tell me why they use that instead of the other mechanical type but I'm sure there's a reason for it. So these are the three types of reliefs you see and by the way uh, relief number three if it fails you're always buying the entire rail assembly when that fails you cannot buy that number three relief. The number two relief that if it's got the end plug that screws out you can buy that you just have to uh, put your engine number in and go to the parts screen and see what you can get so or can't get. So uh, thank you for your time and for uh, subscribing to Engine Shop Joe. See you next time.